So every other day or every few days, I make a short video and I drop it into either our community group or into our you know channels, our communication channels for our team. And those are just videos about things that I am feeling at the moment. They are things that I'm trying to you know deliver a message, inspire our team. So just a few days ago, I actually made a video. Uh, I was very emotional about uh, you know my taxes and uh, just kind of uh, the past eight months and what I have been doing trying to save taxes and all the strategies that I have been uh, coming across and uh, because my goal was to pay zero in taxes uh, because I, I don't think that we have the best you know, uh, uh, decision makers out there to really take the taxes and put them to work. I believe that I can really do more uh, good with it. So what I'm gonna do is in this video, this is gonna be a little different. Let me know if you guys like those. Again, those are videos that we only share for our team or our community, but I wanna share that video with you guys because I feel like that will give you an insight on uh, you know, maybe some suggestion on what you should do and what you should be focused on, but also what I did for my taxes in 2021. So hope you like it. Those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu and I'm the founder of BJK University. Uh, we're a company on a mission to impact 1 million lives through, uh, you know, providing people alternatives for uh, uh, traditional education. If you are not subscribed, feel free to subscribe and smash the thumbs up button. Outside of that, hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers. In this video, I want to talk about attention and time allocation. Before I go into this, uh, this might be a long video and my thoughts are very uncollected about this, but I just felt very inspired because I literally had an aha moment about two hours ago. And for the last two hours, I've been pacing back and forth in my home and thinking to myself that I'm such a huge idiot for doing this. May of 2021, I realized that we had a pretty big problem. You see, as our company started growing, I realized that this year, more than any other year, we're going to end up with a pretty tax bill. Before this, I was able to put it in different places, but this year, I just wasn't able to. And I started researching. And after three months of reading article after article and doing a whole bunch of research, spending at least 10 to 20 hours every single week, sleepless nights, thinking about it, I finally decided that I need to start talking to professionals. And since May of 2021 until today, I have talked to over, and I did the, the number earlier right now, 19 different tax, tax professionals, wealth management, um, uh, tax advisors, CPAs, I mean, you name it. And I've seen literally everything under the sun. I've heard all the different pitches, all the different vehicles, everything that you've that are out there that are supposed to save you taxes. And going into this, <clears throat> I had one goal in mind and one goal only, and that's to pay the least amount of taxes because I don't trust our government. And I feel like I can do more good with reinvesting this money back into the market than giving it to the government. And that was my focus. And I guess I was looking for the magic bullet. But after spending hundreds, literally hundreds of hours and months just literally this morning, I realized this, <clears throat> that there is no magic bullet and that all those vehicles, all they do is they, if anything, they probably cost you more in implementation and research, and they don't really save you taxes because although they might save you a tax today, <clears throat> but it's at the cost of tomorrow. It's putting it in a, in, in a fund where when you retire, you're going to take it out. Well, I don't plan that my income is going to be any less when I retire than it is today, right? So what I just realized this morning is that for the last nine months, I've been doing something completely wrong. And this happened to me the same in 2019. All this time that I've invested and I've spent over $75,000 talking to these people and just paying for this person to give me an assessment and give the, pay this person for a couple hours. And, and these guys charge $500 to $1,000 per hour. They are not expensive. And after investing the last eight months trying to learn about all this stuff and, and, and spending tens of thousands of dollars, I realized that I've wasted all this time because all that time could have been put back into my company, growing the company, empowering the team, getting our students better results, improving our program, and truly driving what we do, which is impacting people's lives. So what I realized is that we have only a limited amount of attention and time. 
And if you are not very careful about allocating it to the right places, you will always lose. And I just realized if I just pay the tax, which is the easiest thing that I can do, I just file at the end of the year, I get the tax bill and I pay it, which by the way, I ended up doing after all that research, I ended up saving zero money in taxes for last year. And my tax bill for last year is going to be seven figures. And I just realized if I keep the whole dollar or if I keep 90 cents of the dollar or if I keep 60 cents of the dollar, which what I am going to be doing right now because I live in Florida, luckily there is no uh, state tax. So my tax is going to be 38%. So if I keep only 62% of the money and instead of keeping 90% of the money, but taking back all the time that I've invested, all the attention, all the energy, all the focus and put it back in where it, what matters most, it's literally the thing that truly means the most for me because I don't care if I have a million dollars in the bank or if I have 600,000, if I have 10 million or 6 million, if I have 100 million or 60 million, it means nothing to me. It does not change anything. I still wear a $94 watch. I still wear a $42 shirt, which I bought almost a year ago, and it's fading. It's literally fading, and I need to go buy some new stuff. I still wear $60 jeans, and I still drive a $300 a month car. So why spend and waste all this time doing the thing that truly does not matter? But what I realized is human nature, this is what we are about. We get peer pressured into all this bullshit because people out there are telling you, why should you pay taxes, invest in real estate, do this thing, do that thing. And we take focus away from the most important thing. The same problem happened to me in 2019. I had a few hundred thousand dollars in the bank and I was looking at my wife like, babe, this money is earning zero and it's sitting in the bank. We should invest it. And I took about six months learning about real estate, spending 10 to 15 hours every single week learning about something that I had no interest in. The only vehicle that right now can save me money and that I can gain depreciation and that's valid and actually the government loves for you to do is real estate. But I'm not a real estate professional. That's not my interest. If I start real estate today, that would be for the sake of saving taxes and that would be the dumbest thing anyone could do. People ask me all the time, why did you move to Florida? Oh, was it taxes? Yeah, I know I did the same. I'm like, no, actually taxes was like number seven for me on the list. For me, it was just going into a place where I knew no one, put, putting myself in, you know, out of my comfort zone and just really focusing on my business. And that exactly is what happened. So if I go in, you know, let's say I made $5 million in, 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 in income last year. And if I go and just buy a, a real estate property just to save the tax, that would be the dumbest thing that I would ever do because I have no interest in doing that. My interest is building our company. My interest is empowering my, our team. My interest is giving our students the best result in the shortest time possible. My interest is impacting people's lives. This is why I started BJK University. So you have to think about everything that you're doing and understand us human beings are not very good at multitasking. And we can accomplish more when we do less. Because every single of those structures that I was looking at is this trust that's owned by the, these three LLCs and then these five trusts under this one owns this thing and that. And when I would literally, every time I got off the call with one of those advisors, I was more confused than I was going in. And I was just looking for that magic bullet. But in life, there is no magic bullet. And you have to understand that you're going to bust your ass for every single penny you make. But at the end of the day, you have to go back to your why. Why do you exist? Why are you doing the things that you are doing? And you only have one time, one focus, one attention. And you have to be very wise about where you invest that time and where you invest that attention. Because trust me, if you don't do that, you will lose every single time. Hope this video finds you well. I just wanted, I just felt very relieved, literally very relieved that this morning I was just like, you know, because I decided that I'm just going to pay the tax last year. And I said, that's fine. I don't want to make a decision because it was December and I had not decided anything. And then I said, you know, Q1 this year, we're going to figure something out where we're going to just fix it. And I just got overwhelmed more and more and more and, and just more confused. And I just realized that nothing really saves you anything. It's they're all they're deferring taxes. So I'm sacrificing 65, 75, 85 year old Bashar for the pleasure of Bashar today. And it's not really pleasure because the 
upkeep of these things and the involvement. And I need to involve, be involved in all these things. And you lose control over anything. You can't, you can't, you can't just go in and like grab it and change it and do anything with it. And I just realized like, it doesn't matter to me. The money sits in the bank. That's not why I started this in the first place. I am not interested in how much money I'm making. And we're making a lot of money. I am not going to shy away from it. The company is very profitable. But that is not why I started this whole thing. I started this thing to impact people's lives. So what the hell am I doing here? So just literally before I got on this video, I emailed everyone that I've been talking to for the last two months, which are at least half a dozen by now, because everyone else I've just completely crossed out of my list. And I said, hey, thank you very much for your time. If I still owe you anything, please send me an invoice, but we're done here. And I just literally copy pasted that email to everyone else. And for this year, I'm just going to pay the tax bill because I don't need to focus on that. I need to focus on the thing that truly matters. Now, in the future, if I decide to you know, go into real estate or if I decide and I find something else, maybe I'll do it. But for now, that's the only thing that I'm going to do. 2022, I'm just going to take all the attention, the headspace, all this drama that was going in my mind and refocus it back into our business because this is why we exist. We are here to impact people's lives. Right here, there we go. But outside of that, I just hope this video finds you well. And I'm sorry if I was just going on and on and on, but I just felt very inspired to really make this video because oftentimes we lose track of who we are and why we exist and why we started the thing that we're doing. Our company is growing 10, 20, 30% every single month and it's impacting more people's lives. And that's the thing that brings me joy. When I see our students post their results in the in the community group, when I see our team, someone coming in that works somewhere and then now they're, they're focused on you know, working at BJKU, impacting people's lives. They just love what they do because it, ha it fulfills them. It fulfills their soul. It fulfills their bank account. And they have an amazing team around them. And then all the improvements that we do to our program and seeing our students appreciating everything about it. That is what brings me fulfillment. So if I keep 60 cents of the dollar, and instead of keeping 90 cents of the dollar, who cares? Who cares? Outside of that, I love you guys. And I appreciate you guys. See you all in the next video. Cheers.